Good morning, YouTube. It's Beck here from So Be Curated. I have just arrived at the shop. It's Saturday morning. I haven't done a day in the shop for ages. It's me generally on a Saturday by myself. Um, and that's, that's this morning as well. So I thought I might take you through what my day looks like or my morning, because we finish at two and on Saturdays, I really try and finish at two and go home. Um, it's quarter past nine now and I'm gonna need to do a little vacuum because I know Lucy and I left last night without vacuuming and I'll show you what the shot's looking like. So I have literally just walked in um, the door. We've just booked removalists. So watch this space, we are actually moving. It's been such an exhaustive process. The red tape and kind of approval kind of situation. Anyway, the builders are making good progress. I went and checked it out last night and um, what is, like the plasterboard's up, all the tiles are in the shop. They've still got to drill through the slab and floors down, aircon's kind of half in. It's exciting. Anyway, this is what the current shop is looking like. It freaks me out a little bit that I'm going to need to pack this all down. These are my needle books and um, zipper pouches that are in the shop. Looks like so. Not a lot of petit pan at the moment, but then it's not as popular as when I first brought it in because I think in Australia, if you hadn't found petit pan overseas, you um, didn't know about it. Now somebody just made an online order. Thank you very much for your online order. Probably heard the ka kind of go from the iPad in the shop. Still am working on filling up the greens and the blues and yellows of the lollies since the Maitland quilt show. It's my Betsy Sawtooth in the window there. And then next to that is an unfinished Orla quilt, which actually looks really pretty with the uh, geranium and sometimes the light shine through, shines through it and it looks gorgeous. So got lots more vintage things to come into the shop when we have more space. Now, on the desk here, I just put things that I needed to price or fix up um, just as I was leaving last night. I also have all our Pearl Wonderful, Wonderful Pearl 8 threads here. We do, we also have um, variegated ones and we have some DMC threads as well because for certain colors, I really like the DMC. I'm not sure, oh, that's where the, just here is, I'm like, why is there a spare spot? We're bursting out the seams. Um, that's where these quilt clips live, which I need to package again. And then hopefully today, depending on how busy it is in the store, I will get some, I've got some vintage fabrics that I wanna do some bundles of, and I'm also going to be doing some color, Scrap bundles um, from the end of bolts in the shop, and I've got lots of zipper charms that I need to photog for photography. I need to photograph and get online, so I'm going to get onto that now. So I've just vacuumed. It's now 20 to 10, um, and I've neatened up the front window because we'd sold some things out of the front window and changed things around. This will be my last front window at this space, which is just, you know, kind of sad and kind of amazing all at once. So in the window we've got North Point quilt, happy clappy cushions, um, flower power cushion, sunshine cushion. You can see the aula over the back there of that chair behind the geranium. And actually that's all the, that we have in the window at the moment. 
so I have finished taking photos, new photos for all the zipper charms. These are the ones that are going into the shop. So they just go in a big mix like so. Um, and I will put those up online hopefully later today. So it's now 10.30 and that's what I've done besides chatted to a couple of lovely customers who have been picking up orders. Um, it's really quiet at the moment for retail. Support your little businesses, please. Not just mine, any little business. It is quiet. Anyway, um, it terrifies me a little bit when I'm, you know, starting or moving to a larger shop. Anyway, they look kind of cute there. So since telling you it was really quiet, I've had a really busy time. And Otto has just dropped in. And what do you like to do when you come into the shop? You yeah, only give me like five dollars. And this morning he has M &M. bought M and M's, and then I have stolen some of them, of course, in a rainbow to make my day. Are you going to scoot her home now? Yeah. Okay. Say hi to your brothers for me. I will. Okay. Bye, hey, gorgeous. Mom, love you. Love you too. So in the ways of small business, I got completely um, sidetracked from what I intended to do today. I had some beautiful, beautiful customers in store. One that I have dealt with a lot, like has done lots of online orders and she was just gorgeous and she chose some beautiful things from the shop and it was just a pleasure to meet you. So Sharon, if you see this, I'm talking about you. And then I also had a lovely friend, I would call her friend now, um, Helen, who... I've taught in Queensland and she's come to Green Door and um, done a course with me there. And she's been by the shop a couple of times and she was in for a little while this morning or like this afternoon actually as well. And so I had lots of lovely people that I was chatting to and helping and ended up having a really good day in the shop, which is fantastic because it has been super quiet um, in the shop. And down our whole strip of shops, actually, because I was talking to lots of the local vendors this morning and they were saying it's been really quiet and I didn't do anything else. I'm going to turn you around and show you what I mean. All I have done is moved some of the bundles that I was making um, off the table onto the counter because Lucy will teach in here on Monday when the shop isn't closed. So these are lots of Vintage fabrics, we sell vintage fabrics in store and also I'm going to make up some bundles of those. And then these are end of bulk bundles. So just kind of the ends of bolts and also some of the fabrics that I have worked with and then the ends of those. So I'm gonna put some color bundles online. I just haven't got to them properly yet. I did make up a little bundle based off a beautiful visitor this morning called Liv. Her name is Liv. I don't think she watches YouTube and she's got a little daughter, Florence. But she was making a baby quilt and we kind of together, mostly she actually, put together these beautiful fabrics um, for a non kind of pink baby girl quilt. And then they were so lovely that I kind of just added a couple to that to make those bundles for the shop. I only had enough to do two bundles. They're fat quarter bundles. So they'll be on line a bit later, hopefully today. I'm gonna go home though now and help out with my family. So that is a busy Saturday in the shop, which is always nice to have a busy day. And especially when they're such lovely customers. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for some vintage fabrics online. Happy stitching everybody.